Hey guys, welcome to this episode of the Globetrotting Extraordinaire. Here I am in very, very cold Reykjavik, Iceland for this episode. Got some cool outdoor stuff to check out. Lots of different sites, lots of different foods to eat here in Iceland on this episode of the Globetrotting Extraordinaire. Want to join me on my expeditions around the world? Come with me to taste the foods, experience the cultures, see the sights, learn to travel fast, and make the most of your trip on a dime. By the way, my name is Adam, but you can call me the Globe Trotting Extraordinaire. Iceland, at about 39,000 square miles, and with 60% of the population living in Reykjavik, the rest of the island is an explorer's paradise. With fast open lands and amazing waterfalls, there is so much to do and see. It's no wonder why it's a great destination. Good stuff, don't judge me. Let's go see some sights, starting with the Golden Circle Tour. So I'm here at Thingvellir National Park, one of the most beautiful sites in Iceland. Actually a really interesting spot, it's actually in between two tectonic plates, the Eurasian and North American tectonic plate, we're right in between them. Also it's the first meeting place of the oldest parliament in the world here in Iceland. So I'm here currently in the geyser area. This is uh, Stokur. It's one of the more famous geysers here in Iceland, a part of the Gold Circle Tour. Erupts every about five to 10 minutes. Uh, highest height usually gets about 40 feet, so we'll, we'll wait and see and see what we can get. Perfect timing. So I'm here standing in front of the local church. Uh, it's a really long name, I'm not gonna pronounce it, but right here, uh, one of the few Christian churches here in Reykjavik, and it's absolutely gorgeous. So we are driving towards Sel, <laughs> Sel, uh, Sel, Sel ja Landfoss right now we're pulling over the side of the road. So we're here at Sledjo Landsfalls Waterfall here in Iceland, one of the most beautiful waterfalls here in Iceland. Really beautiful view, really beautiful sight. on the Golden Circle Tour. Gufos is the waterfall here. One of the most biggest powerful waterfalls here in this region. There's also a great legend with this waterfall that uh, originally they were actually going to dam it up, but the daughter to one of the farmers in the local area actually was a big activist. He actually walked all the way to Reykjavik to campaign to not have the dam built or to actually throw herself in the falls. And obviously the dam never got built, so obviously the falls are still here to this day. A great way to end a trip to Iceland is taking a dip in the Blue Lagoon. The lagoon was formed in 1976 by the Svartzingi power plant with public bathing facilities built in 1987 after people started to bathe in the waters and noticed that it had a great effect on the skin. Make sure you book a reservation in advance to ensure you get in as reservation slots fill up quick at this amazing location. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Go ahead and give it a like if you like it. Also leave behind a comment too. I really appreciate the feedback. And if you need any help on your Iceland trip, I'll be more than happy to help you out. Also hit subscribe too since I have a lot of footage coming up from a lot of different places around the world here in the future. You can catch me up on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and I also have my own webpage where I keep a blog up too as well. Thanks again from the Globetrotting Store in Air.